Unfortunately, you only see a small part of my office because Jamie just gave me a piece of cake that I've spilled all over my desk, and you can't see that because it's somewhere over there. Now, another question you'll have looking at this video is, what's going on with his hair? And now that I've recorded it a few times, I'm asking that question too, and I frankly don't know. Maybe I need a new or different shampoo. Well, I wanted to show you this painting. That's called the Sistine Madonna by the Renaissance master Raphael. It's a painting we'll be discussing in our class tonight on Christian freedom. And the essay we're reading says that the face of Mary and the face of Jesus become the immortal face of every human being in every generation who's facing difficulty and hardship. And that no matter what we encounter as human beings, what is fundamentally human in us cannot be destroyed, as is evidenced by the 20th century. But we need to ask that question, what is fundamentally human in us? One of the things we're discussing is Christian freedom. That's a fundamental part of our humanity. But it's also something we need to talk about as a church because all of our programs and our communal life together need to help equip people to experience the freedom which Christ brings. The truth will set you free, we hear the Bible say. But sometimes we think of the truth as a burden or a hardship or something that we can dispense with rather than the thing that will allow us to breathe and to be fully alive. We'll be talking about it tonight and also this weekend. We want to offer a special prayer for all our graduates. Please refer to your monthly newsletter and you will see their names both from high school and college. Pray for them that as they embark on this new chapter of their lives that God might grow them in faith, hope, and love. Also say a special prayer for all of those who have the vocation of teaching and those who work in our schools. We'll see you Sunday.